right guys, welcome to Tips with Splits. I'm gonna show you guys how to use your external hard drive on your PS4. So this is it. We can now officially put an external hard drive on the PS4 before. We would have to take this thing off, replace it with do one, and that's complicated as hell. So they made it simpler. You just plug it in. And yeah guys, so here's the um, external hard drive I'm gonna use. It's a my passport. It's a my passport. These right here are the best hard drives you can possibly use on your PS4. And no, guys, I am not sponsored by these guys. Like, I've used these hard drives before, and they're and they're great. So, this is a one terabyte. Um, you can use a uh, 250 gigabytes uh, minimum, up to eight terabytes. That's 8,000 gigabytes on your PS4. So. This is one terabyte. These are really cheap, by the way, for how much for how many uh, space you're paying for. So it connects to USB 3.0, which is what you want for your PS4. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this. See, so if you guys do want to buy this, I'll put a link down below where you can buy it. Um, so yeah, so let's do a quick unboxing on what you actually get if you do, guys. If you do um, decide to get this, so let's do it. Here's my beautiful rainbow knife just for this unboxing. Alright guys, so here we go. Uh, this is brand new guys. So let's open it. And it's pretty much a simple um, thing. This is a must need. A must need for your PS4. You, like you guys hate um, you guys hate deleting your freaking games. And then you end up wanting to play them and you got to re-download them again. And that's freaking annoying. Yeah, I know. I've done that before. So I don't think we need this crap. So here, look how, damn, look how small this is. That's what she said. That is so, like, I don't know how to, com I guess I compare it to this knife. It's the same size as my knife. I'll try to get, wait, I don't have my phone with me. Fuck, I can't compare it with that. But, yeah, I compare it to PS4. Look how small that is. Like holy crap. And also we got the USB. So basically guys, all you really do is get this thing out of the plastic. Are you guys ready to hear that sound? Look at this. I don't think I could hear that's too windy out here, but yeah, this is how it looks like. Oh wait, there's more on the bottom. Ready guys? Oh yeah, that's satisfying. All right, so where do we plug this? Thing? All right, plug it in here. Hold on, there we go. And then you just plug on your PS4 like that. And then I'll show you guys what to actually do. And then that would be it. So that's how it's gonna look like. I'll show you guys what to do next on the PS4 so you can start transferring your games onto this thing and make room more for your PS4. So. Yeah guys, let's move on to the PS4 part. Also forgot to mention guys that I know it's kind of random, but look at this thing. It actually matches my PS4, which is pretty cool. They also come with different colors, so I recommend you guys check out that link. So, alright, so now we move to the PS4 part. Alright guys, so we're back on the PS4 now, so I'm actually going to plug my hard drive to my PS4 right now. So let me do that real quick. All right, so it's turning it's turning on right now. Um, so you guys should see a pop up coming up soon. So let's just wait. So you guys might get that error that the USB storage device file system is unsupported. If you get that, there is a fix to that. So don't worry. But if you don't get it, then you're good to go. So if it says unsupported don't worry guys so what you want to do is you want to go to settings and then go to your devices and then usb storage device so basically you got to format your hard drive so it can work to your ps4 so here it is my passport 25e1 western digital one terabyte and then you want to click yes or x i mean and then it gives you the information to install applications on this device that must be formatted which we're going to do so format as extended storage and then click next 
and then format and then you guys will see here this device will be format extent as extended storage are you sure you want to continue click yes and then it, it is currently formatting so you don't disconnect your hard drive because it's doing its thing and there we go so this device has been formatted it's that fast you guys see how fast that was and then you guys can see right there that it's green which is ready to go so we actually go back to now if you want to like um go to the storage tab which is right here you guys can see now that it's right there extended storage application stall location so now you can take your games and put it on here which i'll show you guys real quick all right guys so i forgot to mention that if you want to disconnect your hard drive do not yank it out that's what i did and it's it, it went to like repair mode and it took forever just to repair it. well not really but if you want to remove it safely and the right way you want to go to settings and then go to your devices and then USB storage devices and then right here you guys can see um, the stop using this extended storage so click that and this will um, safely disconnect your hard drive and you can now uh, disconnect it and and uh, yeah guys so that's a pro tip for you if you guys um, want to remove it safely alright guys so in order to um, put the games on your uh, ex on your hard drive um, this is where this is what you want to do so we go to the ps4 hard drive you guys can see that if we go to applications these are all the games I have um, so we're gonna do something uh, we're gonna put it we're gonna put disk jam which is a game and put it on the hard drive so what you want to do here is you want to press options and then move to extended storage and then just click the ones that you want to move and then click move and then click OK and yeah you can see here literally in seconds it all depends on how big the game is like gigabyte form so this is just a 2 gigabyte game and it's gonna take I think it took like 22 seconds so 15 seconds now so I'll show you guys what happens next once this is done alright guys so I just finished now so if you go back there you guys have it obviously we put two gigabytes in here and you guys can see that disk jam is on the hard drive now so it's no longer on my ps4 which um so yeah uh yeah I can we can still play it by the way so it's still there um if you want to if you want to go back to storage if you guys can see right there on the right side is application install location so if you download something from the playstation store um by default it'll go to the extended hard drive and if you want to by default go to the ps4 click over options and then application install location and that's the default so all the games that you get from the ps store now are going to go to the ps4 instead of the extended storage so yeah guys that's from step to step on how to do everything i'm so glad playstation added this i have over thousand gigabytes now like holy crap I can put more games I don't have to go back and delete this and then later on I, uh, I want to install it but yeah guys that's how you put that's how you set up your hard drive external hard drive on the ps4 like I said guys if you want the hard drive that I have link is in the description it works great as you guys can see so I'll leave that in the description for you guys if you want to check it out and yeah guys thanks for watching